the end of the 20th century, many predicted the advent of doom, or the return of Christ. The 16th century French prophet Nostradamus had spoken of the solar eclipse of August 11, 1999. Could this astronomical phenomena be a sign? Could it be the end of an era? It soon became clear that September 11, 2001 has changed our world much more than August 11, 1999. But in recent years, the new end date, our meeting with destiny itself, has been moved to December 21st, 2012. What events are predicted to occur during this time? Climate change, unprecedented hurricanes, and the most violent earthquakes ever experienced dominate the news regularly. With so many false alarms, is time finally running out? Though climate change might be man-made, hurricanes and definitely earthquakes are clearly out of our hands. So what is causing this? Some look towards the sun. Some scientists even hold the sun responsible for the climate change, noting that the global warming is not just happening on this planet, but all throughout the solar system. Unlike 1999, December 21st, 2012 is indeed the end of something. The long count calendar, a calendar system used by the Mayan civilization of Central America. On that day, the 13th Baktun cycle will be completed. Some Mayan and other Mesoamerican groups such as the Aztecs say we live in the fifth age. The next age to be born in 2012 will be therefore that of the sixth sun. Our age started on August 11th, 3114 BC. But as it is known, that time did not mark the beginning of the world. Why should we consider 2012 to be the end of the world? Or is it the birth of a new world? Over the past 5,000 years, civilizations were born and civilizations were destroyed. On the other side of the world, where a people who held a calendar that had cycles that were five millennia long and that new astronomical knowledge we have only recently been able to confirm as scientifically real. So on December 21st, 2012, in the region where the sun is aligning with the heart of the Milky Way, known as the galactic center, we will encounter a feature known as the Dark Rift. In the Mayan creation mythology, this is called the Zibalba Bay, the road to the underworld.